Well, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here, even though you're required to be here. <laughs> <laughs> David walked into my office and asked me to be here. I'd be here too. So it's definitely my privilege and to honor the outstanding achievements of the Fugitive Apprehension Medicaid Fraud Control Units of the Texas Attorney General's Office. We issued press releases on both success stories today, but I wanted the opportunity to express my gratitude in person to every one of you involved. All 4,200 plus employees of our OAG family work hard every day for the people of our state. But the courageous men and women of our Fugitive Apprehension, by the way, it's a very long title, Fugitive Apprehension display uncommon bravery and valor as they work hard, usually out of the spotlight, to keep Texas and Texas children safe. Last month, the unit marked, as you know, its 10,000th arrest since its inception in 2003, capturing an undocumented illegal immigrant pictured here from Mexico, wanted for aggravated sexual assault of a child, which is obviously a first degree felony. Fugitive Apprehension Unit pursues all types of felony warrants, but its focus is on catching sexual predators who are in violation of their parole after being convicted of sex crimes against children. These predators have a history of abusing children and are likely to do it again if they're not apprehended. Over the years, the Fugitive Apprehensive Unit has grown from five investigators to 22, along with three criminal analysts, two administrative assistants, and a five-person command staff who operate in regional offices in Austin, Houston, and Arlington. 10,000 arrests is an incredible achievement. It's almost hard to fathom, and it sends a very strong message. If you're a child molester who has violated parole, we're coming after you. We're coming after you hard. Texas is a big state, but there's no hiding place for child predators. Included among the 10,000 arrests made by the unit are 29 criminals who appeared on the Texas DPS top 10 most wanted list. Let me take a moment to thank everyone in our fugitive apprehension unit. The people of Texas are lucky and grateful to have you all on the front lines. Now I'd like to bring up the Director of Law Enforcement, David Maxwell. David. <laughs> Thank you, General Paxson. I uh, just want to say a few uh, things. I, I was going to let uh, Captain Wesley Hensley do this, but uh, he lost his speech. So, <clears throat> you know, what we're talking about today and what we're celebrating is dedication. Dedication to uh, the people of Texas, dedication to the uh, victims uh, who are victimized in Texas every day. Uh, we're celebrating uh, the individual accomplishment of a sergeant who has dedicated his life to protecting our children from predators. The uh, fugitive unit, we're going out every day and resting somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 dangerous fugitives every month. And the Medicaid Fraud Control Unit, who represents our state to the country on the uh, suppression and, and apprehension of people who make a tremendous amount of money legitimately but feel they have to steal from the state and the federal government your taxpayer money every year in the form of Medicaid fraud. So <clears throat> the, the congratulations is to all of y'all. I'm, I'm just the guy up here on the front, but you're all the ones who do the job and you do it well and you're a very dedicated individual and I celebrate y'all. Thank you, David, for your leadership and for, for what you've meant to this office and, and to really Texas law enforcement. I appreciate everything you do for us. And all Texans should be proud that they have the best Medicaid fraud, fraud control unit in the nation on their side. Medicaid fraud drives up the cost of health care for all of us and steals from taxpayers funded programs that help Texans receive medical care. Last month, our Medicaid fraud control unit was selected, by the way, this is the longest award I've ever heard of, <laughs> for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General Award from 50 units nationwide for its excellence in fighting fraud, waste, and abuse. During the fiscal year 2017, the unit obtained 108 indictments, 137 convictions, and led the nation in recovering more than $534 million. This is a remarkable accomplishment, and it happened in part because of the unit's outstanding partnership with the Inspector General's Office, the FBI, and others. Among Mafuka's most notable successes from last year, they participated in 212 joint investigations 
including a national health care fraud takedown involving 14 individuals and 49 million in fraudulent billings. Its part in a multi-agency investigation resulted in the conviction of a Houston home health care owner and several individuals, resulting in prison sentences and more than $22 million in restitution. And its role in another multi-agency operation stopped a medical biller after it stole the personal identifying information of more than 1,500 Medicaid and Medicare recipients, which was used to, to obtain food stamp benefits and credit cards in Texas and other states. I know you all joined me in congratulating everyone in the Medicaid Fraud Control Unit for being named number one in the nation. I'd like to bring up Mufuko Division Chief Stormy Kelly for a few words. This word is truly a testament to the effectiveness of the nearly 200 men and women in the Medicaid Fraud Control Unit. They work in 12 different units spread out throughout the entire state and they are committed to investigating and prosecuting fraud, waste, and abuse in the giantly stated award that we got, fraud, waste, and abuse in the Medicaid program. The individuals who commit these crimes would line their pockets at the taxpayer's expense, and they jeopardize the health care of every Medicaid recipient in the state. So I'm very proud of the employees of the Attorney General's Medicaid Fraud Control Unit and their continuing efforts to hold accountable those who would take advantage of our most vulnerable. Good job. Stormy, thank you for your great leadership. It's, a, it's an amazing award, and, and you should be congratulated along with the people that work with you. So thank you very much. I'm also pleased today to honor a member of our OAG family who has devoted most of his law enforcement career to protecting children from dangerous sexual predators. Sergeant Gary Marcus of our Child Exploitation Unit has arrested more than 100 individuals for crimes involving sexual exploitation. From those arrests, 67 have been indicted on a total of 125 charges, resulting in 67 adjudicated con convictions. But besides taking child predators off our streets and off the internet, Sergeant Marcus has found time to teach more than 1,300 investigators, prosecutors, and others in Texas how to investigate and combat child exploitation crimes. Last October, unfortunately on his way to receive the prestigious Texas Hero for Child Children Award, Sergeant Marcus' car was struck by another vehicle sending him, his wife, and several other family members to the hospital. Fortunately, he recovered from the accident and is here with us today to finally receive his well-deserved and long overdue award. And I'll let Director Maxwell do the honors. Gary? Congratulations, Gary. And thank you for all that you do for this state and for this agency. Appreciate it. Thank you. We have to sign the driver, though. <laughs> well, thank you all for being here today. I just want you to know we did this because I'm proud of you. Our whole leadership team is proud of you, and we thank you not just what you do for, for, for our office, but what you really do for the people and the children of Texas. So God bless you and thank you for caring and for getting up every day and, and taking on some really awful things for the good of the people of Texas. God bless. Thank you. <laughs>